All right, this is going to kind of be water, kind of cover water a little bit. Um, I know we talked about the still, and that's what this video is mainly going to be about, but the important thing is, I mean, obviously, you can boil water. Um, having coffee filters, they're so cheap. Have coffee filters in your house so you can pre-clean some of the water, like let's say stagnant water, and then boil it. I mean, if, you're, if your water's still working, all you got to do is boil the water. But for salt water purposes, I built a still. But to cover other quick water, uh, you got to go get that salt water. So having camping gear, I mean, that's the best survival stuff, going in a little bit to survival. So anyway, this is the Frontier Pro. It's a military style. I'm just talking about this, guys. Military style water filter. It comes with a little uh, quick connector that hooks up to a uh, water bladder if you have like a, a camel pack or whatever they're calling them now. So what you do is, I mean, you can put bad water, let's say it's just stagnant or, you know, river running water, put it straight in your camel bag, throw it back on your back, plug this in to the end, which part you would drink out of, pop that off, that's the end you actually drink from, you know. Well, crap, you know, I forgot my water bottle, but I decided to keep this in my bag, which I, I do, I mean, but my bag has a water bottle, but you got this straw, plug this straw right into there. Now you just kind of go to your water source and drink straight from your water source with it looking like that. You know, the great thing is it fits pretty much any uh, threaded bottle in the U.S., you know, like the two liters uh, water bottles, anything. It'll, it'll pretty much thread right in there. So, I mean, that's a big plus. They, they weren't that expensive. Look them up on eBay. Um, when I bought it, at least, it wasn't that expensive. I actually bought two of them. Um, I mean, it's just a professional water filter. It's so nice to have that confidence behind the professionality of it. Comes with pre-filters. Comes with four. One of them's already in there. Of course, it's always a good idea to pre-filter. You, you extend the life of your filter. Next is a catadine. Now, this one's actually so old, it's called Pure back then. But um, catadine bought them out. And um, great, great filters. I mean, you can't not beat this. You got water in, it says it right there. You hook this side up, boom, you drop it in, you got a float, you can adjust your float, you know, got a little pre strainer, keep some of the junk out. And I always keep my inlet, which, hey, does that look familiar? It kind of looks like that, don't it? I pump straight into my water bladder from a, from a water source. I put it right back into my water um, bladder clean. So and then I can drink straight from my water bladder, so you don't have to suck through a filter. That's the only bad thing about something like that. You got to force water through that filter. It's you know it's just ain't fun. So anyway, this has an updated filter. This pure fits the Catadine, the regular uh, Pro Series Hiker Pro. You just bust that open and pump away. And that's like I said, that's the Pro filter. It's got a little pre-filter as well that's interchangeable. You can take it out, clean it. Great filter. So. I know, y'all don't want to hear about that. Y'all want to hear about the stiff. Um, moonshine is probably going to be in the name of this because it looks like a moonshine still. And I want people to be able to see this and, and learn from it. Uh, obvious setup, like I said. If you look up Moonshine Making 101, his still looks just like this. Um, this is for water. You know, I'm just, I'm just practicing it. I put salt in there and, you know, I tasted it. It tastes great, blah, blah, blah. Um, use the clamps. I don't know if, like I said, y'all seen the video a few minutes ago. Um, just look it up, and then this is just a cool closer view of it. Like I said, I took a cork, I mean, a, a cork, drilled a hole, put the cork in, drilled another hole before I put it in, smacked that in there. This, all of this white stuff, is flour and water. I mean, it is a great, it's a great night. You know, it goes bad. You got to redo it every time, but. Cares. I mean, it's flour. It's, it's literally a little bit, too. I mean, it's like not even a, a fourth of a cup that I did this whole thing with. Um, so the top. This is a mixing bowl. It's a pretty big one. This is a 32, 36 quart. Uh, it's a steam basket slash boiling pot. We boil a lot down. I mean, I use this thing. This is a real, real item I use. So, I mean, what did I waste here? Yeah, of course, I put a whole... In the wife's uh, mixing bowl, she wasn't too happy, but I bought her another one. So then, uh, 25, I'm sorry, 20 feet of, I believe this was 3 8 copper. You need to have a decent worm. You ha it has to be pretty uniform 
or if not, you're gonna get a uh, you get some weird pores. You're gonna get like it's not gonna drip out. It's gonna squirt out every few minutes. But anyway, what I did is I took these uh this spare wood I had lying around the house. I drilled, I put screws in, you know, and I strategically placed them up on each one so it's constantly going down. And then I secured them with another screw on top so they can't really go nowhere. Um, I just put a little caulk on the bottom just hope it, hopefully this wouldn't float up. But uh, it don't look like it moved. I was just doing some gauge is still at a hundred. I was just doing some water. I guess in another video. Um, fast caulk. Uh, the bucket sweats a lot, so just be prepared. You fill this with ice, of course. Be prepared to deal with water coming from other places. Cool trick you can do is you can tie a little string right here. Tie a string around there and let it dangle down in water that's leaking from here will hit the pipe and hit that string and go down and it won't mix with your clean water. You don't want that contaminated water. Another thing you can do is you can just put a, a little drip of uh, caulk that little right there. That's my little, that's my drip catcher. It'll make it drip out. Like I said, of course, I'd be paying more attention to my bucket situation. Um, you know, be closer with the funnel and blah, blah, blah. Just playing around in the house, y'all. It was clean water that I added salt to. It's pretty, pretty nice. Um, I said this is still really, really hot to the touch. Um, my sides leaked, you know. You can kind of see uh, that's. It looks a lot worse than this. That's the glare from the, the pot. But my sides were leaking from my handles, so I went ahead. Same thing, flower water. It's you know it's non-toxic. You don't have to worry about no chemicals. I know some people using other stuff. For to them, I you know I say give this a shot. This was boiling. I had this water boiling, and I had not even a single leak. I tried bath caulk. I put a little bead of bath caulk, kind of let it sit for a few minutes. Then I applied my top, clamped it down, you know. I got more than the recommended amount of clamps, but I clamped it down with six to start with. And um, it leaked. It leaked. It was leaking in different spots, blah, blah, blah. So this kind of breaks off and I, I don't know how the cleanup's going to be on this. We're going to find out, you know. Like I said, it's still really too hot to open up, but this ain't nothing but a mixing bowl, y'all. I don't know, a lot of people ask about that. It's like a 3 8 fitting. I drilled a hole. I didn't really tap it. I just kind of threaded it in there. I JB welded it, which, you know, didn't really last, so I flowered the hell out of it. I had no leaks. I produced a little bit of water, you know. I, I didn't want to run the energy bill up. I'm fairly energy conscious. So, a little bit of water, I mean, it's, I pulled out the hydrometer just to show people I wasn't making moonshine. Um, one of my friends does beer and everything, he let me borrow it, he bought the wrong one, because that one does not do beer, it's like a, it's a, it's a spirits, if they will. So, any questions, um, like I said, there's no bending, there's no bending to make these fit, I know I've read a lot of comments on Moonshiner 101, his video. And they're like, how did you bend the top? And this, that, and other. You gotta find the perfect fit, okay? This is a crawfish pot, like I said, stainless steel. Stainless steel. Um, I bought this from Sam's. I bought this from a local hardware store. Um, you know, y'all gonna have to look into that. You just, I mean, I bought a lot of pots. I went through six, six or so before I finally got the thing. And like I said in my last video, I put a little drain in.